I'm so glad to be with you today. I have been thinking about something quite a bit, and I just want to share it with you and um, hope that you will consider it, pray on it, act on it. Pressing forward. It's a theme that we've been using, that it's so critical to the times we're in. The last couple of years have been horrendous and push back and stop and, and preventing people uh, from moving ahead, though we've been very creative in the ways we've moved ahead anyway. You know, we pushed into the internet. We're going around the world. Even if we can't get out of our houses, you know, now it's pretty good. It's pretty good. But, you know, I'm going to talk today a little bit about a pet peeve of mine. Do you know what a pet peeve is? Something that I don't identify with that sometimes I think, what's the point or why? I have dear friends that I trust, that I know that they love the Lord and they hear from God. There's people across the Internet that are famous that um, have proven to be true prophets in many, many ways. So I'm not refuting things that are being said. But I'm going to tell you my perspective. You know, there's a scripture. It's um, John 9, 4. And it says, we must work the works of him who sent us. Well, it's day for night is coming when we can't work anymore. I don't know about you, but I hear so many words about Jesus is coming soon. Um, these are the signs of the time. These things are in place. He's coming soon. He's coming soon. I have friends that say, please come quickly, Lord Jesus. Um, me, I'm going to tell you, I don't want him to come quickly because all my loved ones aren't saved. Oh, I haven't witnessed to everyone I should witness to. But the truth of the matter is, it really doesn't matter what I think. Because God alone knows about the return of Jesus Christ. So my admonition to myself and to you, does it matter if we know if, when Jesus is coming? Aren't we simply supposed to be ready every day while it is today? Maybe the warnings and announcements and the uh, prophetic words of signs of the time are for I don't know, unbelievers, people that are on the edge. I really don't know. But what would draw you, the love and mercy and grace of Jesus Christ, or the repent, repent for the day of the Lord is at hand? And that could be true today. It's going to be true for someone. In essence, in one respect, I'll put it that way. Today is the day Jesus is coming for some people because they will die. Their deaths will happen today. You know, I'm 75 years old, I think. And since I've been a little girl, I've heard this Jesus is coming soon. You know, it could be any time, morning, night, or noon. It could be any time, which is true. But my question to myself is it important when he's coming? Or am I just supposed to heed the call to go into all the world to preach the gospel by every means possible while it is today? Because today is all we have. Tomorrow is gone. We should live today as though there would be a tomorrow. But we only have today. I love all the scriptures in the Bible that say, while it is today. While it is to, today is the time, because all we have is today. Your neighbor, your family, this may be their last day, their last hour. So all the prophecies in the world, all the prophetic words, all the watch, the signs of the time, Jesus is coming because Israel is this and Iran is that and all these things. And I'm not making fun of them and I'm not saying you shouldn't. Listen, but in the day-to-day -day living, does it matter? Because are we not to do the works of him who sent us while it is today? While it is today. This is very um, 
short. I don't know how sweet it is. We have a phrase say, this is short and sweet. Well, I'm not sure how sweet this is. But here is what I feel. Here is the fire that is in me. Here is the fire I want to cast out upon those listening. While it is today, work the works of him who sent you. Preach the gospel, heal the sick, raise the dead, share the love and grace and mercy of Jesus Christ. And why is it important? Because it is not how good you are, how good you've behaved, or the good works you've done. What have you done with Jesus Christ? Have you accepted him as your Lord and Savior? Is that the passion of your heart? Do you love him? He is waiting. If you have not made that decision, he is waiting right now, knocking at your door, saying, today, while it is today, let me in. I pour out my grace and mercy on you. I will forgive you. I will heal you. It has plans for your life. Believers, I want to leave you with this. While it is today, do the works of him who sent you and spread the gospel to your neighbors, to your enemies, to your family, to those you love and don't love. We're not told to pick and choose. Go into all the world and preach the gospel. Jesus saves. God bless you. Hi, I'm Douglas Wilson with Walking on the Word Ministries. Thank you so much for watching TMCI TV. We hope you enjoyed and were blessed with this week's Tuesday encouragement. You can help us share the good news by liking, subscribing, and turning on your notifications. This will help you keep up with the latest news and newest episodes. Be sure to join us for a new Tuesday encouragement every Tuesday on TMCI TV.